Hi, this is Kerry again from FreeAudacityTutorials.com. This is intermediate tutorial number one. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use two tools. One is called the Time Shift tool, which you can find right here. And the other is called the Envelope tool, which is right above it, right there. Now, the reason you would need these tools is because what I have here is in this top section, I have got an audio file that is my voice. Uh, down below, I have an audio file that is m instrumental music. It's done by a friend of mine, Adam Ray. You can find his music at www.heyrayguitar.com. That's H-E-Y-R-E-Y, -E -Y, guitar.com. I don't get any kickback from that. He's just a friend of mine. All right, so what's, what's going to happen if I play this right now? Listen, and you'll hear the voice volume and the music volume are relatively the same, and so it's hard to hear both. Hi, this is Kerry from FreeAudacityTutorials.com where I do free tutorials on how to use the free open source program Audacity, which is an audio editor. And so you can't tell what I'm saying and you can't enjoy the music because the volumes are, are, are just off. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going I'm to mute my track right over here and I'm going to play this track of Adam's music and decide where I want my voice to begin speaking. Usually there's an intro or something like that that you want to happen, and then you'd begin speaking. So I think right about here is where I'll begin. So it's it's right about this section. So what I'm going to do is go up here and grab my time shift tool. I'm going to grab my voice audio track, and I'm going to drag it to the right, back to where I want it to begin. Okay? And I'm going to take it off of mute, and I'm going to click somewhere here in the front and play it so you can see where it starts. Hi, this is Gary from Free Audacity. Okay, now I don't like where that is. I want it to start a little sooner, so I'm going to bump it to the left. All right. But now we've got the problem of the volume. They're still at the same volume, even though I have my vocal track where I want it. So what I'm going to do is go up here and click the envelope tool. And you see these blue lines in gray up here. What you're going to do is down here on the, the audio track that you're wanting to change the volume of, which is the instrumental track, you're going to put two points right here on this blue line. See those two, those two arrow cursors right there? I'm going to click once. I'm going to click again. And this first one is where the change in volume begins. And this one is where the change in volume ends. And so what I'm going to do is pull downward on that. And you see the volume going down. That sound wave is getting smaller. Okay. Now I can also move it this way so I can make the de diminishing sound happen gr more gradually, but I don't want that in this case. I want it to go pretty quickly so that I can hear my voice. So I'm going to try it right there. Click my select tool, start back here, and we'll try it again. Hi, this is Kerry from FreeAudacityTutorials.com. Okay, it's okay, but I'm not happy with it yet. I think it started too soon, and maybe uh, w even... Uh, got quiet too quickly. So here we go again. Let's try with that adjustment. Hi, this is Kerry from FreeAudacityTutorials.com where I do free... Okay, now I think it's still just a little too loud, so I'm going to bump it down just a little more. Okay, and we'll try that. Hi, this is Kerry from FreeAudacityTutorials.com like where I do free tutorials. Now, your volume is not forever uh, condemned to stay that quiet on your audio, on your music track. You can go to the end of your vocal, play it, see how Recorded it with some music or some other background. And I see that that's the end of it. So I can use my envelope tool again. I'm going to go to this blue line. I'm going to make two points again, the beginning of my volume change and the end of my volume change. And then I'm going to make this go bigger. Now, just for sake of showing you, I'm going to make this one a more gradual increase just so you can hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to start, say, right here. And here we go. Your voice, uh, your voice over recorded with some music or some other background. And hear that volume getting gradually louder. Normally, that's not what you would do on a situation like this normally. Uh, but I did it that way just to show you. So I'm going to do it back the way I normally would do it and then play that for you. Your voice, uh, your voice over recorded with some music or some other background. You know, that's more like it.
So that is the time shift tool here to move the tracks. And that is the envelope tool to change the volume of your tracks. Uh, it is most helpful to do this when you have the two tracks right next to each other. That way you can see. And if you need to zoom in a little bit to see even more so where your volume changes are happening, you can do that. All right, this has been Kerry with FreeAudacityTutorials.com. Check us out at www.FreeAudacityTutorials.com where I do podcast cover art and website headers, and I also do podcast consulting. So check me out. Thanks.